Hey everybody, Nick from the Basic Up. Welcome back to another episode. And today, I'm just gonna have fun. I just wanna go out here and prime myself up for the Delta tournament coming up in two days on Saturday. I've been out on the Delta hitting it hard, pre-fishing, which if you watch my last video, pre-fishing to me, what I do anyway, most of the time it's not a lot of fun. It's a lot of searching around, looking for new water, looking for new fish, but not a whole lot of fun because I'm not actually catching a lot of fish. So I just want to get out here on one of the ponds right here in the neighborhood and try to smash some fish's face in, hopefully on a frog. This lake right here, this year has a ton of duckweed on it and I've been catching them on, I've been catching some big ones on it actually and I haven't, haven't got it on tape yet. Um, hopefully they bite today. It's freaking, it's cold today, cold, cold. Um, hopefully it doesn't change it, but if you're new to the channel, we give away half our YouTube income every single month. All you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment. And if you're one of our 7,000 plus subscribers that's not leaving a comment, obviously you cannot win. All you have to do is leave a simple comment. It could be an emoji or anything. It doesn't really matter. Um, and you enter yourself in a chance to win half our YouTube income every single month. So yeah, let's get out here. I'm hoping to catch them on a frog. I got a couple other baits. But I'll catch them on whatever I can because I just, again, I just want to prime myself up, get some bites, be able to pull on some fish before this Delta tournament. So let's get out here and see if we could do that. This is always the chore trying to get off the ramp here. As you can see, golf cart, I got to have it all the way in the water. But look at this duckweed. Look at this. It just looks like prime frog water right here. Whoa. I got to get off of this thing here. And this lake is really, really low. This is the bottom right here is probably a foot deep. It's a good thing this thing, this boat drafts so shallow. All right, here we go. Froggy, froggy. Also brought. Oh, jeez. Vicious Fat Frog, original, snake proof, not the new one. Not that there's anything wrong with the new one. I don't, I have not thrown the new one, so can't really say much about that. So what's amazing to me about just fish in general is how shallow they will get. So. I know up there, it's only a couple inches deep. Now these fish, and it's the same way in other bodies of water, like the Delta, where if you're not throwing your frog or even your bait right on the bank, you might miss sometimes 80% of those fish because sometimes they're sitting up there at the bank and they're looking, they're looking at the bank. So they're facing away from you. They're looking at the bank. And if you throw behind them, they're not gonna turn around and eat your bait. So you wanna, you gotta get your bait way up in there. Even if you think it's too shallow, you will be amazed. And then when I get it up in there, I'm not twitching it like this, like hard and fast, because it's pulling it to me too quick. It's getting it out of that strike zone. So what I'm really trying to do is throw it up in there, right on the bank, and then I'm just twitching the slack in my line. Just putting off a little vibration from that frog. It's coming to me a little bit, but not, not very fast. Because these fish, they gotta zone in on it. And then once they zone in on it, if you're pulling it real quick, that's how you'll miss a lot of frog strikes. Is you're, you're popping it too hard. You're pulling it too, too much like this. And they're trying to come up through the weeds basically blind and eat that thing and if you're moving it they're probably going to hit behind it and miss it so real slow little i mean especially if you if you think you're in a, a really good spot just real slow just twitching it on top just like that give them something to zone in on and give them a chance to eat that bait so i'm right up there by the toolies i'm I'm thinking if one's gonna bite it, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be within a foot of those toolies. I think it's gonna be within inches of those toolies. Now I might get some out here on this outside, 
but I'm thinking most of them are going to be really, really tight. And I'm almost just flipping this frog, covering like every couple feet of the tule line. Because again, if you don't get it right in front of them, they don't really want to swim that far to go get it unless they're super, super aggressive. Oh, good one. Came up way. Oh, yeah. Came way from the shallow. Like, oh, and I swallowed it. Number one. Dude. Shocker. I mean, look at that chunk. I'm going to weigh them, too. We got, got the scale. Go ahead and put them on there. Turn it on. Zero it out. Dude, that fish came from so shallow. Five oh one, five oh two, five pounder. Five pounder. Look how healthy and fat that thing is. Whew. Beautiful fish. See ya. Love it, man. Choked it too. That frog. Like I was saying, those fish could be so shallow, you just wouldn't be wouldn't believe it. I mean, I didn't believe how shallow that one was. Like I didn't hit inside this pocket. They could be sitting up there. My frog was moving, that fish waked from the tule line, which that tule line, there's only inches, I'm talking inches of water in there. There's nothing. It's nuts. It's crazy. I got through out that far and it came from the tules way back in there. I could, oh, another one. Oh my gosh. What? in here what the heck all twisted up all to through the cable wow wow multiple fish under this one mat get it again all right slight change of plan caught that five pounder back there just not enough bites i just want to get bit uh, especially going into this tournament i like to catch a lot of fish get bit it builds up the confidence it doesn't even matter where you're catching them it just builds up confidence so that's the good thing about here i could jump lakes so i'm moving from that lake over to this lake behind me and uh yeah i'm gonna go down here this is primarily gonna be mostly the copperhead and we're gonna see if we can catch them in here uh i like the wind i like the weather i like this lake so let's go over here see if we can put a few more in the boat this water has gotten a lot cleaner in here. It wasn't this clean last time I was out here about a couple weeks ago. It's really clean. And I already, the ramp saw a couple beds. But I got the right color on. This is the pro's pick. I really like this color. It could be, you know, anywhere from a little stain to, to clear just because. Oh, shoo, I thought I had one. Almost fell off the dang trollamore thing. God, I'm getting excited. So yeah, pros pick. Just got that translucent, like bluish hue, some purple flake, a little bit of kind of goldish red flake, and then the green pumpkin, watermelon. Good all around just color for whatever whatever water clarity you have. There's one. There's one. This lake does not have the size that the other lake has, but it has a lot of fish. That's partially the problem. Um, but there's a fish. 
I don't want to come here and get bit. That's all I want. Just come here and get bit. And there are some big ones. I mean, there's definitely some over fives, six, seven pounders. And uh, whether it like it is today, I mean, we could run into the, one of those and get, get lucky. But I doubt it. Oh my gosh. I swear to you. It's got bit like twice on that calf. Gosh, these fish are little in here. Little, but a bite. Little fish, but a bite. It's about four bites already. Throw it back in there. That one. A little bit better one. I gotta keep up with them. A little bit better one. Is that one sitting on a bed back there? I think I see one up there on a bed, like clear as day, too. To flip my beaver up there and try to get them. But a little bit better one. Oh, geez. That must add. Got a pan right there. Yep, I see, I see you up there. I don't know if it sees me, I doubt it. I mean, kind of far away, but there's one right up there on a bed. Oh, it's spooked, as soon as it hit the water. I don't even see, you know what, nah. Catching too many going down the bank, I don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. As a matter of fact, I think that last one came off a of bed right there. Just came up and ate the ate the copperhead, but yeah, there's a nice clean spot right there where that last one came off of. That bite is fun though. I must admit. Just reeling it along, feeling it thumping. And then and then you feel nothing. Or the butt the bait the bite. I can't even talk. The uh bass just jump on there and it's you lose all contact with the bait. But I'm just kind of burning it. Another one. Another one. Through all these shallow weeds. And that one's a little better. That might be our biggest today. Not today, but at this lake right here. A little bit better. Fat one. But yeah, just burning it. Right through all these. Uh, there's like this viney weed that's grown up. Heck. Oh. There's one. <laughs> Little one. Yeah, along here. Yeah, I see a bunch of spawning beds over here right now, but it got so cold. Yeah, it got so it's so freaking cold today that uh yeah, they're kind of 
backed off a little bit. same size it's all the same size they're fun but where are the another one this one's a little bit better a little bit better and the roof of the mouth that one dark one back to back Get another one. Oh my gosh, I think I got hit right there. I just, oh, yep, stacked right here. <laughs> Three in a row. Three in a row, right in the roof of the mouth again. Choked it. Three in a row, can we do? Four in a row. Four in a row, four in a row. Come on, four in a row. Well, <laughs> just being my cat, that last cast I didn't catch one, so I guess not four in a row. Oh, there you go. shallow I mean we're catching them now we're catching them now we are catching them now way up there shallow another one oh my goodness oh my goodness see that's what I'm talking about just just getting bit just building up confidence that the fish are biting and even though it's on this little lake it's still you know it's a good way to fill the bite um, practice your casting know what a weed is know when your baits fouled you know know what hard bottom just just what bait, I mean everything, just just practicing, it's, it's muscle memory, it's just like any other sport. The more you do it, the better you'll be at it. The more fish you catch, the better you'll be at catching fish. Because you'll know exactly what they feel like and what the bite feels like and different conditions and what they do in different weather. It was good to just get out and I really do like to get out before a tournament and just catch some fish it's just me kind of primed up it's kind of like a you know an NBA player who goes out before the game and just goes out and hits you know 20 free throws and shoots a bunch of three pointers same thing they just want to see it go in I just want to catch some fish. Same size, not surprising. Not surprising at all. 
Now what would be surprising, you catch a big one. That would surprise me. Another one. Oh, it's a better one. A little bit better one. There we go. There's a nice healthy one right there. Kind of like pink and red. I could tell that one's been up there on a bed or something. That's a healthy one. There we go. <laughs> right when it hit the water. Woo! That trailer has lasted a long time. It's just a spunk shad trailer on there. It's lasted a long time. Well, you, I mean, I haven't changed it this whole video, so. How many fish have we got on it now? Quite a bit. It's a good thing because I only have the one, I think. I don't. I'd have to jerry rig a trailer in my. Uh, off of some other soft plastic in my boat. That's a little bit better one. That's a little bit better one there. I mean, it ain't huge, but he's longer. Definitely, definitely longer. There we go. This thing's looking so good, just letting it go to the bottom. And then barely like, creeping it right there. The first couple feet of the toolies. Coming out and smacking it. Almost just like, flip it up there. Let it go to the bottom. Of course, I got weeds on at that time. But yeah, just letting it go to the bottom and then just finessing it through. That's what I'm going to call it. Finessing. Let it go to the bottom. Finessing it through that strike zone. Oh, ate it on the fall. <laughs> ate it on the fall a little bit healthier one here oh yeah that's a good one that's a good one we'll take that ate that freaking copperhead on the fall Just flipping the copperhead another one you see that flipped it in there let it go to the bottom and that blade kicks in right away, so right when I start just barely reeling it, it starts vibrating, and then right when it starts vibrating, boom! You eat it. Just flipping that thing in there right up, right up tight. Let it go to the bottom. Reel it like that. It's basically hopping it off the bottom one time and boom! Getting it. <laughs> Same thing, baby. Let it go to the bottom. Just go to start to reel it in. Da -dum. On there. Pretty one. Oh, pretty colorings. Same thing. Same one. A little bit better one here. A little bit better one. Yeah, it's a nice one for this lake. Right there, nice one, right up on the bank. Choke that copperhead. Right up on the bank. Sweet, let's keep it up. Oh, good one. Good one. Woo. Big one for this lake. 
There we go. Oh man, choke the copperhead. Nice one. There we go. Just about to leave. Nice one right there. Thank you, fish. I like that. Almost didn't even hook them because I hands are all wet and slippery. I just wasn't even expecting it. I'm trying to get back. Another one. All right. On the dam. Not big. Nothing like the last one, but that last one seems to be an anomaly on this lake, so. And we'll take that and just keep on rolling it. Keep on rolling down this thing right here. See what we could do. I mean, this weather should have them chewing, other than the fact that it's cold. I mean, obviously they're chewing. We caught quite a few. Yep, I do. I do have one. Little guy. And you can see the last uh, trailer I had finally tore up, so I have a, a Kitek on here without the paddle tail on it. It's made my own spunk shad. It's essentially all they are, really. And uh, it's working. That's why I caught the biggest one on <laughs> so far, so I don't seem to mind. I'm gonna keep rolling down this thing pretty darn fast though, because I do want to get back. Yeah, it was fun. Fun catching them. Hey, go out there, go anywhere you can and catch some fish. Any practice is good practice. Thank you all for watching this video and uh, hopefully shortly after this we'll be putting out the Delta video and hopefully it's a good one. Fingers crossed. I think it's going to be tough with this cold weather. But thanks again. We'll see you next time.